Alrighty then, I'm here in Unreal Engine 5 and I have migrated the project. So here is the migrated project. And by the way, if you don't know how to migrate it, you can go here on the tutorial and this video right here will show you how to migrate. So don't worry about that. For this tutorial, we're using the Yoast 3D free character pack. Here you have three stunning characters, the Knight, the Viking, the Leonis, an RPG character. Well, basically they all can be RPG characters, whatever. So yeah, go check them out link to the characters is down below so just click the link go and download completely free use it for your commercial games whatever you want you just cannot resell them or share them with anyone and now that we have migrated the project we are going to go again in my epic games here and we're going to add that bossy enemy animation so add to here let me just see here this is the one that i want just 3d anime retarget let's add it here it is so Retargeting is a little bit different in Unreal Engine 5. I mean, for sure, it's probably an improvement from Unreal Engine 4, but Unreal Engine 4 was way, way easier. You just, you know, click two, three times, and there you go. You have retargeted, you know? But here, what we need to do is, here is the bossy enemy, and I'm going to go here, skeletal mesh, and select this bad boy. So this is the bad boy that we want to retarget, this dude right here. You see, this weird-ass dude, this one. So what we want to do with him is, click on him, right click, and then go here under create, and we're going to create IK rig. So here you go. So this bad boy IK rig. And I'm going to open this rig and we're going to create chains. And these chains are basically going to be mapped to the chains of our own skeleton. When I say our own, I mean the one from Yoast 3D. Basically think of it like we create, a, let's say template here, and that template will match the template on the Yoast 3D skeleton and thus if the arm matches the arm, if the leg matches the leg, you get the point. Then these, you know, elements will be animated. So what we're going to do first is go here and find the head. So we are going to select the neck and the head and we are going to right click on that and say new retarget chain. And from here, I'm going to call it head with lowercase head. You can call it, you know, it can be with uppercase. I don't care. So here you go. Make sure that the starting bone is neck 01 and the end bone is head. That's everything you need to do. Now let's go and find the arms. So here we have the clavicle. So this is the one that you want to select and hand left. So this one, clavicle and then hand left. So select them like this. So right click, new retarget, and this is going to be the left arm. And I'm going to say add and there you go. You can do it also like this. You can go here and add the chain. And for example, well, not like this, don't select anything, but just go here and click on add chain. And I'm going to call this one right arm like this. And I'm going to add the chain. And from here, I'm going to select clavicle. And we are going to select the R because it's the right arm. And here I'm going to say hand R. And there you go. So this works as well. Now, next I am going to find the leg. So here is the tight L and we want the foot and from here. So let's go and from here, I'm going to say new retarget chain, left leg, but for some other reason, the end bone is this one. Now we don't want that. Let's go here, let's go like this. Okay, so we don't want the first one, just delete it. We want the second one, this one right here, where the starting bone is the tie left or tie left, however this is pronounced. And the ending bone is the foot L. You get the point. So I'm going to say here, tie L or actually R and foot R for the right foot. And let's go new retarget chain. Okay, let's add them both. And I'm going to delete this one. So delete this one. And this is the one that we are left with. So right leg with the tight R and foot R. That's basically it. And last but not least, we can also retarget the spine. So from here, I can create the chain for the spine and go, let's do it like this. Yalla, there you go. So we are good to go. So this one, make sure that you save him. This one is good to go. Let's go back here inside of our souls starter pack and then characters and this one, Y base main. So right click on him, create an IK rig and it's going to be our IK rig base main and basically repeat the same process. So repeat the exact same process. So here we have the neck and the head and I'm going to go here and do my thing, add the chain, there you go. This is what I need to do. So neck head, next we have over here clavicle L and hand L. From here, I'm going to say left arm, 
yes, this is going to be left arm, clavicle L, hand L. Let's do the same thing for the R, so clavicle R, hand R, from here, new retarget chain, there you go. And I'm going to add that here. Do the same thing for the tie. Let's find it here. So tight L, foot L, new retarget chain. Add that there. So tight L, foot L here. Let's go with like this. As you can see on our skeleton, we didn't have that issue where we, you know, had to create two of these and then delete them and all, all of that stuff. And lastly, or last but not least, we have the spine, new retarget chain, add chain. There you go. So make sure that these right here match up with these right here. So the head, the name here, by the way, the chain name, so head, left, right, left, you get the point, needs to be exactly the same as this one right here. And here the starting bones also need to be the same. So make sure that that is there. Now also one thing that we are going to do is here on the pelvis. Well, usually we do that on the root or the pelvis. I already know because I checked here, we need to set it on pelvis, but either on root or on pelvis, in this case pelvis, we need to right click and we need to say set retarget bone for this one over here and then do the exact same thing for this one over here. So go on the pelvis, right click and set retarget root and you are good to go. So now we can go here. Let's say I am going to, yeah, let's just leave it here. Whatever You are going to create this one. So right click and you're going to go into animation and then retargeting and you're going to create the IK retargeter. So you make sure that you create them or put them in a folder where it's meaningful to you because I'm all about organization. Whenever I have created tutorials, the first thing that I, you know, emphasized was organize your project because that's, you know, later on you're going to regret it if you don't do it. So simply just go here and I'm going to say IK Yoast the ready retargeter like that and I'm going to open it so now here we have the source IK rig and the target IK rig this basically means who do we want to retarget and from here we want to retarget our IK mannequin with weapon so this is the one we want to retarget who do we want to who is the target or who is basically going to retarget this skeleton well, basically our Yos base main, this bad boy over here. So I'm just going to move him here, something like that. And there you go. So this is going to be 180. This is just a preview, so don't worry about that. This is just a preview. So I'm going to just, you know, select the animations, as you can see, and we are good to go. Again, we have the issue with the animations, with the hands and all of that stuff. But we talked about how we can fix that with Unreal Engine 4. So basically you will open the animation. In this case here though, when it comes to Unreal Engine 4, what you can also try to do is, you can go, and I'm not going to do that because it's going to be too tedious, you can go and add additional chains. So you can go from here, add chains to here, add chains to here. You can, you know, every single finger you can add chain to. To be honest, I did not test it out to see if it will fix this issue, it probably, possibly might fix the issue but yeah you can go here as i said and basically add the chain to all of the components so all of the bones basically add the chain so create the chain here for every bone and create here chain for every bone make sure that the names of the chain name you know are the same here the starting bones are the same and then you can go back and check out if the animation is working or not if not, well, again, you can just do the same thing what we did in Unreal Engine 4, just, you know, edit the animation. And how you can edit the animation? Well, basically, when we have everything ready like this, simply select the animation. Let's say this one, okay? So this is the one that we want. Select it and go here, export selected animation. So export wherever you want to export it. Let's say I'm going to export it here, Soul Starter, Yoast 3D. And yeah, I'm just going to export it there. There you go. Here it is. Here is the animation. And now it's ready to use with all of our Yoast 3D characters. So I can go here in the map and I am going to select the knight. And from here, I am going to, come on, if it's going to open for whatever reason. Come on, are you going to open? There you go. There you go. So from here, I'm going to select the animation. Here it is. And let me just go here, find the animation, set the animation to play in the editor. And you can see that it plays. Again, same issue as we saw inside of Unreal Engine 4. Again, I'm repeating, you can open the animation from here. What you can do is let's preview the mesh set here to the preview. And you can do this. So you can open the bones. So let me just see here. 
you can go on the character bones and you can show the hierarchy now if this happens to you if this happens to you what you need to do is simply go character bones and draw bone size set it to 0 0.01 so 0 0.01 and there you go. So now we can clearly see all of the bones and we can, you know, do our thing and yada, yada, yada. You get the point. So yeah, here is the animation retargeted in Unreal Engine 5. As I said, two solutions for that. And here, do the same thing. So bones and set here to 0 0.01 like that. And there you go. So as I said, either try to map out all of the, and let me just go here, bones, Second only, there you go. Either map, uh, either create a chain for every single bone inside of the skeleton or open the animation and then, you know, from there, add, you know, additional curves to offset or reset or whatever the animation. But basically this is how we uh, retarget animations in Unreal Engine 4 and Unreal Engine 4 5.3.